You're listening to Animal Radio. If you missed any part of today's show, visit us at AnimalRadio.com or download the Animal Radio app for iPhone and Android. It's Animal Radio, celebrating the connection with our pets, and we'll head back to the phones in just a second for your calls for Dr. Debbie and dog father Joey Volani. Don't forget you can also ask your questions from the free Animal Radio app for iPhone and Android. But I want to visit with Melaine Rodriguez. If you haven't been listening the last few weeks, the big buzz about town is that you can clone your animals. And you can also genetically preserve them. If, you, if you're not ready to clone, you can genetically preserve their DNA and their cells for future use. And we're getting lots of calls about that. Melaine Rodriguez, she is the client service manager at Viagen Pets, and she's joining us. You must get calls all the time about this, huh? I do. It's, it's really amazing. A pet parents will typically call us because they have a special pet that's like no other pet they've ever had. They've formed a special bond with this pet, and they can't imagine living without it. And so they'd like to continue that bond with a potential clone. You see, I'm thinking about that right now. I, <laughs> I have a cat that, uh, that is in his last years of his life, yes. and I'm thinking, boy, it would be nice to do that. I'm not sure if I can go through the whole process yet, but I know that I can genetically preserve it so that when I decide to do it, I can do it down do the it road. Later. Yes, that's right. What are the uh, most frequently asked questions you usually hear from pet owners? Well, I'll tell you that the number one most frequently asked question is, can I clone a pet that's passed away? Mm. Is it too late? And so the answer is yes, under certain circumstances. Now, of course, the best chances of a successful genetic preservation is when a biopsy is done while the pet is still alive. That's, that's really the best time to do it. But if the pet has passed away and the pet parent is considering the possibility of maybe cloning someday, then the most important thing the pet owner and the veterinarian need to know is that the pet should be refrigerated. Okay. and not frozen. Uh, freezing will damage the tissues. So mm-hmm. I, I hate to get calls when people tell me that the, the body's been frozen because usually in that situation there's nothing we can do. So mm-hmm. refrigerate the body is really the key here. Uh, biopsies should be taken by the veterinarian as soon as possible after the pet has passed, and they need to be received by our lab at Viagen Pets within five days. Now, we have emergency instructions on our website, so if a pet passes away and the pet parent doesn't know what to do, um, they can go to our website, click on the emergency tab, and there's step-by-step instructions that are very simple that they can provide those to their veterinarian, and that informs the veterinarian of what to do, how to take a biopsy sample, and how to ship those samples to us in an emergency situation like this. Oh, that is so cool that you have that on the website. It's the emergency tab over at viagenpets.com. Let me spell that for you. It's V I A G E N pets.com. And of course, links to everything you've heard on today's show over at animalradio.com. If someone wants to talk to you in person, Melaine, can they call you? Absolutely. I'd love to give them a call. If they've got questions, any sort of question they have, I'm happy to talk to them and answer any question. They can contact me directly by calling our main number. That's 888 888- Eight seven six six one zero four, or they can visit our website again at viagenpets.com. Great website, check it out. Melaine Rodriguez, she's the client services manager at Viagen Pets. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Great, thank you. Bye bye.